Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover the first chapter as per the NCERT class 11, Python syllabus, which is computer system. In this video, we will cover the first module of the chapter which is the introduction to computer system. Other modules will be discussed in the subsequent videos. Let us begin our discussion with understanding what is a computer. When speaking of a computer, we consider three main aspects to it which are input, processing, and output. A computer is an electronic device that can be programmed to accept data which is considered as input, then process it to finally generate some result that will be our output. A computer along with additional hardware and software together is called a computer system. A computer system primarily comprises a central processing unit, CPU, memory, input and output devices and finally storage devices. All these components function together as a single unit to deliver the desired output. Here, we can see the components of a computer system and how they interact with one another. There are four main components namely, input unit, output unit, CPU and the secondary storage device. We will look in detail about each component further in the video but first, let us understand the basic functionality of each. The CPU is the brain of the computer that stores and processes all the data. The input devices like mouse and keyboard give instructions to the CPU. After the processing is done, the CPU provides the processed data to the output devices like monitor for users to access. Secondary memory devices are useful to store relevant data outside the CPU. Further the CPU consists of three components named arithmetic logic unit, memory unit and control unit. CPU is the brain of the computer. It is known as processor or microprocessor which stores the data and performs computation on it as per command. It is the electronic circuitry of a computer that carries out the actual processing. The CPU is given instructions and data through programs. It then fetches the program and data from the memory and performs arithmetic logic operations as per the given instructions and stores the result back into memory. There are three main aspects to a CPU which are memory, arithmetic and logic unit, and the control unit. CPU stores the data as well as the instructions in its local memory known as registers. Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU performs all the arithmetic and logic operations that need to be done as per the instruction in a program. Control Unit CU controls sequential instruction execution, interprets instructions and guides data flow through the computer's memory, ALU and input or output devices. The devices through which control signals are sent to a computer are termed as input devices. These devices convert the input data into a digital form that is acceptable by the computer system. Some examples of input devices include keyboard, mouse, scanner, touch screen, etc. Data entered through input device is temporarily stored in the main memory, also called RAM, of the computer system. For permanent storage and future use, the data as well as instructions are stored permanently in additional storage locations called secondary memory. The device that receives data from a computer system for display, physical production, is called an output device. It converts digital information into a human understandable form. For example, monitor, projector, headphone, speaker, printer. With this we come to the end of the first module. More modules will be added in separate videos. Please let us know how we can improve the videos and what topics would be more helpful to you. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more NCERT computer science related content.